Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm going to head over to the Apple Cup and look at this Washington State team, and they're winning football games right now. But John Mateer, they're winning football games. They go, I mean, it wasn't on the road, but it was in Seattle, right? It was at Lumen Field. And they just got it done, dude. They just got it done. They won that football game. Will Rogers was not enough. And, yeah, I'm sorry. This Washington State football team is – Kind of put it in work right now. And I, I would I would anticipate with the rest of your schedule that they're gonna make a bowl game. And look, if if you want to look at the rest of their schedule, all right. Hold on, pulling it up right now. They play Boise State on the road, but then after that, and, and Oregon State on the road. They find ways to win those football games. I mean, you're you're looking at a Washington State team that could that could make a real case to be the G5 representative because they Here's are my question. in a conference. It, so how does that work? Because it has to, it's like the highest conference champion, right? That's non powerful. Well, so do they I think qualify? The, I think the Washington state, Oregon state game, I, I would assume that the winner of that game is just the winner of the conference. Right. I guess you know? we, we have to look more into that, but yeah, look, September 28th, that game against Boise State, if they win that football game, they are going to have a resume that includes beating Texas Tech, Washington, Boise State, and among others in the Mountain West there. Why not? Why not? And by the way, you c- cannot be they more actually happy. can compete in the national championship, but still. I mean, but it, I mean, you're beating Boise State. We saw what Boise State did do. Oregon. Who knows? Who knows? Obviously, let's just celebrate the win here. For you know Jake Dickert, who we love here, and for Washington moving forward, man, this was one you would love to have to try to make a bowl game this year. And now looking at your schedule there, with the way Indiana's playing, right, with the way Rutgers runs the football, it you're gonna have some tough matchups there, and you're gonna have to be able to, you know, consistently score. I mean that it they looked good, right, and it they they threw for a ton of yards, they ran for a ton of yards, but they just Four for 13 on third down. I would say the 0 for 1 on fourth down. But it just, it was weird. I like, I was watching the game and I was like, when is Washington going to be kind of breaking away here? Like the way that they were moving the football and running the ball to Jonah Coleman, I just thought eventually it would kind of just break open and it didn't. And uh, I guess credit Washington State for that. But for Jed Fish, this is one you would love to have in year one. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you're box score sniping, you're like, okay, like, Washington could have, you know, won this game. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not ready to sell any stock on Washington to be honest. Well, one, I didn't have a lot of stock to begin with. I think we talked about this preseason that this team is probably gonna have to fight to make a bowl game based on like the decimation of their roster from last year's season, which, you know, we've seen runners up in national championship teams that relied heavily on the transfer portal go into the next season and struggle. You know, you're looking at, I mean, I would put Florida state in that category as well. A team that was college football playoff caliber that relied on the transfer portal. And it's now in a tough spot, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's tough. Um, I, I will Rogers is taking care of the football thus far. They're throwing for 300 yards per game. I don't see this as a Will Rogers problem. I really don't. Um, I, I think it's just the reality of it's a first-year coach, and it was kind of yeah. late in the cycle too. Like I think they're still learning about each other, learning the culture, and look at developing an identity. And Washington State's a team that's been together for three years now. This is Jake that could serve year, and you know they're kind of you know getting there, and, and they looked a little bit more put together, especially when it mattered in that second half. Yeah. Also, too. They're not top 50 in third down percentage. They're not top 50 in fourth down percentage. They're not top 50 in red zone percentage. So I think it's just more about finishing drives that result in points. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're 7.6 yards per play as a team. I mean, that that's pretty good. I, they're just they're just not converting when they need to convert. And and I think that's why I'm not selling any stock on this team. I, I think this team is going to be fine. I thought I think they're better than I thought that they were going to be this season, honestly, even after this loss. So I'm I'm still okay, not selling in Washington for anything. <laughs>